Hello, and welcome to Bites of History with Irene Walton. I am your host, Irene Walton. Have you ever wondered how it made it to your table? Have you ever wondered how it made it to your shelf? If you love food, then this is the show for you. Bites of History with Irene. Today's going to be a bit of a different episode for a couple of reasons. The first reason is I was not able to write a full (laughs) part two of the Disneyland video yet. I did not have any time last week. Secondly, because some of the things that we're going to talk about in this video and episode of the podcast, I think are very important things to say during this time of year. And the last reason is because I was at my good friend Devin and Lauren's wedding yesterday, and I am a little hungover. So that's the sitch there. I don't know if you guys are like this. When somebody's like, I have good news and bad news, what do you want to hear first? I always want to hear the bad news first. I like getting the tough stuff out of the way in the beginning. So this time of year can be very, very tricky for people, be it being around family if they don't fully accept you, be it You don't celebrate these holidays and everybody's talking about them. Um, Maybe you're not able to go home this year for the holidays and you're really sad about it. So it can be tricky for a lot of reasons for a lot of people. I know that a couple years ago, this time of year was really, really hard for me because of all the food. (laughs) And this is why I kind of wanted to talk about it on this uh, podcast Uh, right up at the beginning of December. You know, for those uh, listeners who might not know this, I had an eating disorder for, gosh, maybe five, seven years, something like that. And it was just so not fun. I don't recommend it to anybody. I had the eating disorder called orthorexia, which is where you are obsessed with healthy, quote unquote, eating and diet and exercise and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I have a whole video on it if you guys would like to watch that and just like hear more about my journey with it. But when I was in the thick of that, I had a really hard time during the holidays because there would be so much food and so many sweets and all of these treats and just exciting things happening all around me. And because my brain was not working properly, (laughs) um, I was like, oh, my God. I can't eat this or I shouldn't eat this or if I eat, or if I eat this I have to then blank. And I think the holidays is a perfect time to remind you guys that food is fuel. Food is also fun. I'm sure this sounds crazy to anybody who has not had disordered eating in their past, but I want to remind you that you are allowed to have a cookie. You are allowed to have five cookies. You're allowed to go back for seconds. You are allowed to eat fun things that are provided for you. Okay? I know. It's crazy to hear and it's crazy to think that we have to tell ourselves this. But like, how often is it that we are getting together with all of these people that we love and we are like getting to like share these fun, exciting recipes and treats and things from, you know, that we've been wanting to show the people that we love. And I, I just, I really want to remind you that this, like, if then mindset of like, if I have a piece of pie, I then have to work out extra hard tomorrow. No, you don't. You do not. You just have the piece of pie and you enjoy it because that's not, here's the thing about it. If you don't want to have a piece of pie, Fantastic. Don't. But if you want to, and then you're thinking about, well, I need to work out for an extra hour tomorrow because I had this pie. You're not actually enjoying the pie. You're, it's going to taste not as good. You're going to feel bad that you ate it. You're going to imagine it doing things to your body that it's not going to do. And so you're not even giving yourself the enjoyment you think you're giving yourself. If you make the decision to eat food, Eat the food and enjoy it. Who cares if you have two desserts, three desserts, five desserts? Like, 
you just need to do what feels right for you. And this is not saying like that there's not a good way to like self-regulate during the holiday season. And I don't, it, it doesn't necessarily make it disordered eating. If you're like, oh, I want to make sure that I like move my body a little bit extra today because that will make me feel better. You, it just needs to come from a place of like, this is what makes me feel best. All of all of this to say, I just want you to really, really enjoy yourself this holiday season. I don't want you like to be beating yourself up because your grandma made your favorite cookies in the entire world and you want a bunch of them. Like, that's okay. How often do we get to see the people we love and share meals with them and do all this stuff? Like, I I just needed to remind you guys this holiday season that it is okay to eat and to not have to like work it all out in your head if you're allowed to have something. That was it. Just wanted to remind you of that. Now for some more fun stuff. Some of us might be drinking a little bit this holiday season. I have begun... (laughs) as I'm sitting here with my eyes like sunken in from last night. I have a couple hangover tips. Like to have like my bedside table ready the night. (laughs) If I know I'm going to like be drinking that night, I'll get all of my water and stuff prepared so I don't have to worry about it then. And I can try to hydrate as much as possible. Um, I also will keep some ibuprofen by my bed. You do not want to be to do... um, taking aspirin. It's way too hard on your liver after you've already given your liver kind of a hard time. I like to get up. I'll take a nice hot shower and then I'll end it with an ice cold like minute in the shower, like only the cold water's on. And that usually kind of wakes me up, makes me feel better. Then I'll go make something to eat. Sometimes if I'm feeling, if I'm feeling like I could kick this hangover's butt and like exist in my day, I'll try to make something healthy, like like a little avocado toast, like some fat, some carbs, some whatever. But if I'm like, oh, this is debilitating, I'm not going to be moving today, then I'll make something gross. Like I'll make like ramen at 730 in the morning or I'll reheat like half of a frozen pizza that I made the night before, which reheated frozen pizza like that you already cooked is (laughs) not the vibe. But when you're hungover, it, it can be. And then I try to sleep a lot of the time. I, if I have the time and the luxury of like staying in that day, I'll try to get some extra sleep. But yeah, I also will always, always, always have a shot of pickle juice. Pickle juice is really good for you. It's got a lot of electrolytes in it. And if you can stock up on Gatorade, that never hurts either. So those are my, those are a couple quick tips for a hangover. My mom really wanted me to tell you guys about these things called firecrackers, which are these. She thinks that <laughs> she thinks that they're a very good little cheap, easy holiday treat to bring that everybody likes. And that's the last thing. That is my last little holiday reminder. If somebody is inviting you into their home, I really, really, really believe that you shouldn't go empty handed. And I mean, like inviting you into their home for a meal or a, a festive activity, you know, whatever. If you're like when I go to Juliet's house, I just like plop myself on her couch and that's it. I think that like bringing a gift to the person who is hosting you is just really important. And I know that around this time of year, money can start getting a little tight because you're like, oh, I have to get a gift for my brother and my dad and my this and my boom, ba 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 It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't even have to be something that you buy. You can get flowers. You can even just write a nice card. All right, you guys, that is it for today's episode. I really, really appreciate you being here. And thank you in advance for understanding the couple of reasons this was a bit of a different episode. Um, I really hope you take the messages that I shared with you to heart. You don't need to take the hangover tips to heart, um, but mostly just about like, you know, allowing yourself to enjoy all of the bounty of this holiday season. That's the thing that you should be should really stick with you up here. Uh, I love you very much. Eat what tastes good. Do what feels right. And I will see you guys next week for episode two of Disneyland Famous Foods. Goodbye.